Hello everyone, uh, I'm putting this up here just to show YouTube that I am operating within the guidelines of fair use, um, which allows to use segments of material I do not own the rights for in order to criticize and express an opinion. Uh, you know, just as any democratic uh, free speech supporting platform would do. Uh, I'm not going to make any money out of this, and everything I upload here will be for the sole purpose of reviewing, um, critique, and expressing opinions about uh, what's going on and what went on um, on the fully lived. So, today we're going to talk about um, Abby's evaluation. So, the next segment that we're going to show is uh, the final conclusion of the doctors in Israel of Abby's evaluation. Is she autistic or not? Diagnosis is undetermined. And this means that Abigail was not diagnosed as autistic. Uh, however, they decided that she is um, in need of a few therapies because she does have some developmental issues, which of course you can see until today. Uh, what did they recommend? Let's see. And that she has these three therapies, physiotherapy, communication therapy, and language therapy. Uh now, you have to remember that uh, quite shortly after this diagnosis, uh, they left for America, the whole family. We never, ever got to see Abigail uh, being taken to any of these therapies, um, and it is visible today. Now, she could have been taken to these um, therapies without being put on the vlog. It was hidden or something. But I highly, highly doubt it because Andrea vlogged everything, every day. It was a daily vlog for many years. And especially anything that had to do with the child's or children's um, diagnosis, of course. So at this moment, she is not diagnosed with anything, and that concludes the evaluation until... Now, um, she was not diagnosed with autism, which was uh, the main reason why Andrea took her to the evaluation. So no autism diagnosis at all. However, there are quite a few videos where you can find that um, the word autistic and Abigail go together. Uh, I'm just going to show you a few examples from their Instagram page. So in this picture, uh, Abigail is doing an interview with her mom. There's a whole video about that. And if we look closely at the hashtags, we can read. So, Aspies of Instagram, girls with autism, Aspie girl, autism girl, uh, girls, uh, actually autistic, uh, not hiding, four-year-olds, ASD, autism mommy, uh, autism acceptance, autism awareness, my girl, autism is, often, is awesome, uh, joyful living, Everything brings me joy, and so on and so forth. Here's another Instagram post that says, When my husband comes, there won't be a virus. Two kids with autism have a logical discussion. Uh, then we look at the hashtags. So, uh, autism, girls with autism, autism girls, OCD awareness, and so on. Let's so, I have searched the channel um, so many times for any kind of video that was done regarding the evaluation uh, and some kind of diagnose that was done on Abigail in America. And I could not find anything but this response that Andrea gave someone, um, but no actual videos about that. Uh, there's a bunch of videos about the evaluation in Israel, endless videos about the evaluation in Israel, and most of them are bunched together, so it's really easy to find. There is nothing about the evaluation in America, so no actual evidence that that has actually happened. But if any one of you can find this kind of video, this type of videos, when they got to America, what kind of uh, evaluation Abigail actually went through, and something with a declaration that she actually has autism, then I would love for you to share that with me, and, and I will certainly um, apologize.